Hi, my name is Hugh McVeigh. I wanted to film these interviews with my friends talking about their mental illness because it's something that isn't addressed enough and very hard for most people to open up about, and yet it's so important. These are honest, personal stories, and I hope they can help you get an insight into how much mental illness affects people around you every single day. And also, remember to never be afraid. Remember that the first step is acceptance, and the second step is being open to ask for help. What is some advice you have for people who are going through these similar things? I feel really hesitant to give any advice, honestly. You are not alone. I'm sure everybody says that, but everyone, I feel like, experiences some sort of depression at some point in their life. And, I mean, it's, it's okay. Like, it's totally normal. And just accept that. Life is like a tide. It goes back and forth. Don't be afraid when it goes back, because it'll come back to you, I promise. So up until I started my gender transition, I never dealt with depression, and I never considered myself to be a sad person who had depression. And once I started transitioning, I realized how I did have depression, and it was hard because I didn't understand it, and um, I felt like it wasn't something that was inside of me. But it was so. I started taking abnormal psych this summer, which I feel like is one of the most beneficial things I've ever done for my mental health because, like, when you get diagnosed with a with an illness, like, I mean, maybe that's just like my doctor, but like he didn't like educate me really on on what a a major depressive. Um, disorder is like he didn't tell me what a panic disorder is so I'm like in class now and I'm learning about myself and and it's just like why like why didn't somebody like tell me all of this or like why didn't we learn about this stuff in school I just wrote down my feelings and my thoughts at the time and it helped a little bit it, at least until I managed to get out and talk to people don't just go to a primary care doctor, like find a psychiatrist and a therapist and tell them what's going on and you gotta make sure that you feel like they care about you and about your mental health and um, you gotta stick with it. You just have to really fight for, um, fight for your mental health. Know exactly how your body is and know exactly like like everything about your illness and like be in control of that rather than it being in control of you. Um, so I'm like trying so hard to do that, to be, to be like on it, like it's mine, I'm not I'm not my panic disorder, like, it's mine, and that's been, like, so liberating since I started these classes. It's been so good. Um, yeah. I guess just explore your own feelings and really, um, like I said before, try to do things that make you feel good because you really can't um, sometimes take people's advice too literally or um, I mean, you really just have to, everybody's so different, you just have to find what is good for you and what makes you feel good, so. Because you're beautiful and you deserve to be here just as much as anyone else does. And you, you have so much to offer and so much to bring and you are, you are beautiful and you are loved and no it's not for everyone you know like there would be some people who are gonna leave your life because it's too much but you are you are worthy of being on this planet and you are worthy of 
of being alive. And please go get help if you need it. <laughs>